all computers are made up of hardware and software. Hardware are the physical components that your computer needs to do its job. This includes things like the central processing unit, main memory, storage devices, input devices and output devices. Software are the programs that run on your computer. We can split these into two main categories, system software and application software. By itself, your computer's hardware does nothing without software. It's just a bunch of switches. The software will control the operation of the hardware and give it a function to perform. As mentioned, software can be broadly split into two main categories, system software and application software. System software is a software that supports the operation of your computer system. It acts as an intermediary between the application software and the hardware so that programs will run correctly. System software typically includes the operating system, utility programs and programming language translators, all of which we'll learn about later in this course. Application software is what allows the end user of an IT system to perform tasks. If you want to write a document, you need word processing software. If you want to edit a photo, you need graphics editing software. Each type of application gives your computer a different new function. Without application software, general purpose computers have no real function. There are literally thousands of different types of application software, but some broad categories include the following. Productivity software is most often used in business to allow users to perform their work-based tasks more efficiently. For example, Word processing software is used to create and manipulate text and images to produce documents. Spreadsheet software is used to organize data into a grid of rows and columns and allows you to perform calculations on the data. Database software is used to create, edit and manage databases. And presentation software is used to produce slideshows in order to present information to an audience. Graphic multimedia software is used to produce graphics and multimedia products on your computer system. For example, computer-aided design software is used to produce precise technical illustrations. Graphics editing software is used to create and manipulate images on a computer. Desktop publishing software is used to arrange text and graphics to produce professional documents for print. And video editing software is used to rearrange and manipulate video footage. Communication software is used to allow users to share information by passing it from one device to another. For example, email software is used to send electronic messages over the internet. Web browsing software is used to access web pages, view them and navigate them. VoIP software is used to hold real-time voice and video conversations over the internet. And instant messaging software is used to hold real-time text-based conversations over the internet. So, all computers are made up of hardware and software. Hardware are the physical components that your computer needs to do its job. Software are the programs that run on your computer. System software is the software that controls the operation of your computer system. Application software is what allows the end user of an IT system to perform tasks. Examples of application software include productivity software, graphics multimedia software, and communications software.